I really think that Pokemon Legends DA is actually going to be a really, really good game. And I have a lot of reasons as to why I think that. So first of all, Legends Arceus was received extremely well from the fans. People loved it. I think Legends Arceus is the best Pokemon game on the Switch. I had so much fun because it's kind of just refreshing. You know, it's not... It's not the typical mainline Pokemon game. It's a really good, unique spinoff of the regular mainline Pokemon games. You know, in the sense of like, just changing the formula a little bit and just giving us, you know, like new lore and content and stuff around the Pokemon universe that actually is really cool and makes sense. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, and comment down below something that you're looking forward to a Legend ZA. It really goes a long way, and I really appreciate any support. So obviously, it's not going to be like a complete one-of-one -one carbon copy from Legends Arceus. Legends ZA is going to be still its own game. I feel like it's going to be pretty, like, vastly different, especially since the trailer suggests that it was only taking place in Lumio City. I think they actually, like, said that on the, on the Nintendo website, that it's only taking place in Lumio City, which is, you know... An, an interesting thought at first, but the more and more I think about it, I think that's actually going to be really cool and it's kind of unique and it's going to be, it's, it's going to be cool. I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to like the scale of Lumio City because the city is going to be massive. If, if the whole game takes place in the city, the city is going to be huge and it's still really unknown if it's going to be past or future. I've been seeing so many different things online and now like even my mindset is kind of changing on what I think it's going to be. I used to think it was going to take place in the past and the future. Then I was like, it's going to take place in the past. And now some people are like saying, what if it takes place after X and Y? Like that would be kind of crazy if like something happened after X and Y. It's where the city's like demolished and they have to rebuild it and it's all brand new. But that's just a theory. Like I, have, I really have no idea what time this is going to take place. But the game is just overall going to really improve on whatever Legends Arceus failed on. And when I say that, I don't mean Legends Arceus was a bad game. I really loved it, but it's from a couple years ago and they could always improve things that's just how games are when you know when you get one thing and you build upon it over years and years you can make it better sometimes you know you can flop it though the, the flops definitely do happen i'm not talking about you brilliant i'm shining pearl but maybe i am also talking about you brilliant i'm shining pearl since we haven't had any news about it in about six months like the only thing that the pokemon company has stated was the original trailer that came out in, i think february end of february or something like that which makes me think that they're going to take everything into consideration and that they're really thoroughly doing all the work behind the scenes no news is good news for most scenarios you know what i'm saying like i think it's better that we're not hearing anything than receiving a trailer that the fans are probably going to hate on and i'm sure you guys have all heard about this news they hired a bunch of new people at game freak which a lot of those people are going to be working on legends za and probably Generation 10 and stuff like that, but they're hiring new people, which means new fresh minds, and they're hiring more staff to actually make the game better. And they've definitely seen the criticisms of the last couple Pokemon games, because Scarlet and Violet had a lot of bugs, even though it was such a fun game. Like, that was one of the most fun I've ever had playing a Pokemon game, but man, the glitches were so annoying in that game. The bugs, the graphics were not great either. Just Arceus obviously did have hate, because people don't like change and everything like that. And, I mean, it wasn't a 10 out of 10 game, but, like, man, I think Legend of Arceus is probably, like, a 9 or 9.5 out of 10. It's a, it's such a great game. Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl received so much hate. Sword and Shield, I think, did receive hate at first, but I think that game has grown on a lot of people, especially me. Like, it, that game has definitely grown on me over the last couple of years. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. I didn't like those games. I don't. I think a lot of people are in the same boat as me. Like they don't really care too much about Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee. The trailer suggests that this game is going to be released on the Switch One and the next console, the Switch Two, the the Epic Switch, whatever they're going to call it, you know. And we're we're definitely going to get an announcement of the existence of this console within the next couple of months. You know, there was a tweet from the CEO of Pokemon saying like within the next fiscal year they're going to announce the existence of whatever the Switch Two is. And there were also some leaks a couple days ago or a week ago or so about the Switch Two. Which is not 100% confirmed, obviously, because that's a, a leak, so it could be fake. Those could be fake renders, but even if those were fake, I feel like it's got to be pretty close to what the actual design is going to look like. But the reason I'm bringing up the Switch 2 is because I don't think that they're going to want to show us anything about Legends EA until we have the trailer for the next console, because or the announcement of the next console, because they probably have something up their sleeve to where this... The game's probably going to look a lot better or just, just going to be something very special about it being on the next console. I mean, it's probably going to be a dual release, probably cross-platform. I hope they don't do a thing where they release it on the Switch 1 and then a completely separate game on the Switch 2, so you have to buy like two copies. I really hope it's what Microsoft did with the Xbox 
One and the Series X. Like when they dropped the Series X, you could buy a game that would play on the Xbox One and the Series X, and it would just upscale it on the X, and it would obviously be way better on the X rather than the Xbox One. But I really hope that's what they're doing, and I, I'm, I'm assuming that's probably what they're gonna do. I feel like that would make sense, especially since the next console is gonna be so much more powerful than the Switch One right now. We've had no Pokemon games for two years. I mean, we did have the DLC, of course, but that's not a new Pokemon game. I'm not counting those as new Pokemon games because they weren't new Pokemon games. Those were DLC bonus content, which was fun. I really liked the DLC, actually. I thought it was pretty fun for Scarlet and Violet. But we've gone two years without a brand new Pokemon game and release. I think is a good thing because they were pumping out games for years and years. Because of that, they probably had time to really focus and like lock in on Legends Yay. And I'm assuming they probably have already started on Generation 10. Like, they've definitely either created just like a, a storyline or something like i don't even know if they've started production on it i'm assuming they did because i'm i'm, pr I'm pretty sure they're working on like three two or three games at a time or something like that obviously generation 10 is a couple years away i'm thinking like 2027 maybe 2026 for generation 10 especially since all the feedback on the last couple of pokemon games i just really think that they they intentionally skipped two years because they realized they were doing quantity over quality and i really think they're going to focus on quality for legend ZA. the fact that it's taking place in the kalos region in lumio city which is generation six is also a huge plus because i think generation six is a really loved region like, I haven't really heard much hate about it. Of course, every single Pokemon game has their set of haters, right? Like, every single Pokemon game is going to have haters. But as far as Generation 6, I think it's a pretty strong generation. I mean, there are obviously flaws to it. and But overall, I really loved Generation 6 when, I, when it first came out. I recently played through Y about a year or two ago, and it was so fun. So I think it's really cool that we're going back to the Kalos region because as far as I know, I don't think we've ever revisited the Kalos region. Like, you know, like there was originally supposed to be Pokemon Z, I'm pretty sure. Like I think they actually started production on Pokemon Z, but they scrapped it. So I forgot what happened exactly, but that was supposed to be a game and it was scrapped and it never came out. And this is probably... And so I'm wondering if Pokemon Legends ZA has something to do with the original plans for Pokemon Z. Like I'm wondering if some of that storyline is actually going to happen in Legends ZA. It's going to be really interesting to find out exactly how the storyline, you know, plays out. I'm also really excited to see brand new Mega Pokemon and some new regional variants. I think they're definitely going to add a couple of Mega Pokemon. I wouldn't, I would not get your hopes up on adding a ton of Mega Pokemon, but I definitely think they're going to add like minimum of five new Megas. That's, that's what I'm, that's what my theory is, I guess. And then, of course, we're going to get some regional variants. With every single Pokemon game now, we, we've been getting some regional variants, which is pretty cool. It's cool to see, like, a new version of a Pokemon that we already know and love. I, I think it's really cool to see regional variants. Sometimes the design of them is crazy, though. But sometimes I'm like, dang, that's, that's so sick. That looks way better than the original. I just think that Generation 6 was one of the most perfect generations they could have picked, or Kalos region is one of the most perfect regions they could have picked for... A new legends game it's just one of those regions where we need more to it like we need more lore to it there's there definitely is room for more storyline you know the mega evolution is like the biggest and most popular gimmick in all of pokemon so it's so cool that we're going back to the region that started it all started the mega evolutions that brought it into you know the pokemon main series lore and all that stuff so it's gonna be really interesting to see what they're doing with this game I, i'm really hopeful i'm staying extremely optimistic and the reason i'm saying and the reason I'm so optimistic is literally the only fact that we've gone two years without a Pokemon game and there's been like no news. And I think that's a really, really good thing. I think that really means that they're focusing super hard on making Legend ZA a really good game that they're going to want to have fans really enjoy and get a great score online, you know, a great fan score, a great, you know, gaming score, whatever the, the official gamer score is. I don't really know what that stuff is called because I don't really focus on that. Because I definitely think the fan score matters more. Fans are the reason why franchises really explode because fans are going to talk about it. And if this game is really good, people are going to talk about it online. People are going to know it. People are going to post on TikTok, on YouTube, on Twitch, Twitter, whatever. So, yeah, let me know what you guys really want to see in Legends ZA. Like, do you have any theories or anything like that? What do you think is going to be in the game? Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.